Good day, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May, and welcome to Online Escuela. Please don't forget to subscribe. Have you tried experimenting? Can you remember what are the laboratory apparatus that you use? Can you name a few? Well, today, we will learn more about those common laboratory apparatus and their uses. When you go to a science laboratory, you will see so many apparatus, and maybe some of them are familiar to you, but the rest you have no idea about. To help you identify some of them, we will discuss it in this video. First, we have test tubes. These are used for holding and mixing small samples, especially liquid. Can also be used for heating. And to avoid using our bare hands, we use test tube holder. These are used for holding test tubes, especially when heating. To avoid test tubes from breaking, we use test tube rack. These are used to hold multiple test tubes upright to keep it from rolling away, spilling, or become accidentally cracked. And to help us clean dirty test tubes, we have test tube brush. This is an Erlenmeyer flask and this is a beaker. Both of them are used as reaction container or to hold liquid or solid samples. Can also be used to measure liquids. Another apparatus used for measuring volumes of liquid is the graduated cylinder. Do you know what is this? Very good! It is a magnifying glass and it is used for producing magnified or bigger image of an object. What do you use to measure your body temperature when you are sick? Very good again! We use thermometer. Next, we have dropper or pipette. These are used to transfer or dispense small quantities of liquid. Are you familiar with this? Very good! These are funnels and these are used to transfer liquid or solid samples to a vessel or containers with the small openings. Next, we have our sources of heat, the alcohol lamp and the Bunsen burner. The difference between the two is that alcohol lamp uses alcohol as a fuel, thus it is called alcohol lamp, and the Bunsen burner is usually attached to a gas source to produce heat. Tripod. It is used to support or hold flasks and beakers during experiments. Wire goose is used to support equipment in a laboratory as glasswares cannot be heated directly with a flame. Wire goose also diffuses the flame protecting the glasswares. In here, we have a picture showing on how to set up using Bunsen burner, tripod, wire goose, and beaker. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this video. Till next time, bye!